This presentation is an introduction to enzymes. Hopefully, by the end of this presentation, you'll be able to describe what an enzyme is. You'll be able to explain what the function of the enzyme is. And you should be able to give examples of specific enzymes that are used in the digestive system. So what is an enzyme? An enzyme is a biological molecule that is made out of lots of protein chains. It's termed what's called a biological catalyst. All this means is that it helps speed up the chemical reactions that occur inside your body. Now the shape and size of enzymes is very important. That's because for every different type of reaction you need a very specific enzyme. That's because the bit of the enzyme where the reaction takes place, called the active site, needs to be the exact shape that allows the reaction to take place. So how does an enzyme work? Well, there are two ways, depending on what type of reaction the enzyme is needed to help speed up. Now the enzyme in these diagrams is the green drawing that looks like the capital letter E. Now if we go from left to right, you'll see that the enzyme is being used to take a large molecule and break it into two smaller pieces. On the flip side, if we go f from right to left, you'll see that the enzyme is helping stick two smaller pieces together to make one new larger molecule. So an enzyme can either be used to help break down a larger molecule into smaller pieces, or it can help take smaller pieces and build them into one larger one. Whether it's one or the other depends on the specific reaction taking place. And there are lots of different examples of both of these reactions that occur in the human body. Now today we're going to focus on the enzymes that are included in the digestive system. Now in the digestive system, enzymes are used to break down large food molecules into much smaller pieces. The reason for this is that in the small intestine, the nutrients from our food need to get through the wall of the small intestine to get to our blood supply. The blood supply then takes it all around the body to the cells where the nutrients are needed. But to get through the walls of the small intestine, the molecules have to be really small. When we eat food, the nutrients are in molecules which are far too big. So the digestive system is all about breaking them down into small pieces so they can get into our blood supply, so it can be transported to where they are needed. Now there are lots of different enzymes used in the digestive system because there are lots of different food molecules 
that are needed to be broken down. And remember, each specific reaction needs a specific enzyme. Now we're going to have a look at some examples of enzymes which break down starch, which is a complex carbohydrate, proteins and fats. Now if we start with starch, starch is a complex carbohydrate. This means that lots of simple sugar molecules are all joined together to make one big long chain. Now, if you take a piece of bread, which is a carb which contains complex carbohydrates, such as starch, and you chew it for a while without swallowing, that bread will start to taste sweet. This is because an enzyme called amylase acts like a big pair of scissors and breaks down the starch molecule into its individual sugar molecules. Now this enzyme, amylase, is present in our saliva. So if we just chew bread without swallowing it, after a while the bread will start to taste sweet. This is because the enzyme, amylase, is breaking down the complex carbohydrates into their individual sugars. And these sugars are what cause foods to taste sweet. Next, we'll have a quick look at proteins. Now proteins are big long chains of little molecules called amino acids. Now different proteins are made up of different amino acids in different orders. Therefore we need loads of enzymes to help us break down the different proteins. This family of enzymes are called proteases. Now two specific members of the protease family are called pepsin and trypsin. And you may well come across these two enzymes in your studies. These two enzymes are present in the stomach, pancreas and small intestine and they help break down the protein into its individual amino acids. So again, just like for carbohydrates, the enzymes in the digestive system help break down larger molecules into smaller molecules. And thirdly, we have fat molecules. Now fat molecules are made up of two different types of molecule. The fatty acid chains and the glycerol molecule. Now the family of enzymes which break down fats are called lipases. The lipase enzymes help break down the fats into the fatty acid chains and the glycerol molecule. All of these molecules are small enough to get across the small intestine wall and into our blood supply.
So you should now be aware that there are lots of different enzymes involved in helping us digest our food. You should be specifically aware that amylase helps break down starch. But the family of enzymes called proteases are used to break down proteins. And the family of lipase enzymes help to break down fat molecules. So hopefully, you will now be able to describe what an enzyme is. You should be able to explain what an enzyme does and how it works. And hopefully, you'll be able to give specific examples of enzymes that are used in the digestive system. Now, don't forget to fill in your worksheet so that I know you've completed your homework.